Morning everybody. Morning. Welcome to One Couple's Adventure. Today we are at Trenton Monkey Forest. Mm -hmm. So there is 140 yeah. free roaming, <clears throat> let's say this right, <laughs> Barbary macaques. 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 Mac yeah. <laughs> We're being very be careful. careful how we pronounce that. Yes. You're basically just walking around the forest with 140 yeah, monkeys. Just all... Hopefully we there's some babies. Oh yeah. Oh that'd be really there, cute. There is hopefully uh, some feeding times according to the yeah, website so yeah. hopefully we get to see some monkeys going crazy for some bananas or bread and or we're really happy because it's such a lovely day oh, today finally. in england we've actually got some nice weather in fact i've even got my legs out i've got my legs out i can't it must believe be warm it. If so got if, legs out. yeah i was gonna say it must be warm if my legs are out so if there's any clips where you see me legs out probably turn the brightness down on your screens because they're very pale very pasty yeah. you'll be like ah so yeah they need to see some sun so just a warning there <laughs> so anyway now that the warning's out of the way should we get ready go ahead let's go see some monkeys <laughs> So it says do not touch, do not feed and keep at least one meter distance. Does that mean from each other or from the monkeys? From the monkeys? From the monkeys. I'm, I'm guessing seen as that's a monkey. Oh, uh, what's that to me? It's a monkey. <laughs> I know, I know it's the monkeys, I'm just joking. So as you walk in, entrance is just over here. You have the banana cafe and the jungle shop for all your monkey plush needs. <laughs> and then there's plenty of seating outside and there's a little kids play area and stuff as well. That's and how it's all wooden, the buildings, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does look nice, doesn't it? And then further over there, that little, uh, where's my finger? That little van sells Snuggery's ice cream, which as you might know from a previous video, we do love a Snuggery's ice cream. And then there's a hidden trail further up there and another little kids play area, so plenty to keep the kids busy. Kev, we've paid come see some monkeys, not for you to be playing in hey, the swing. I am making the most of this while there's no kids on it. Come on. Oh man. Do not touch or feed the monkeys. Keep at least two meters distance from them at all times. Always stick to the path and stand still for any monkeys that cross. Our guides will be happy to help you with information about the monkeys. And there are feeding talks at quarter past every hour. Right, so we've just um, come into the entrance now, into the monkey park. And they've just said, the guys just said, there is nine babies in here at the moment. So hopefully we get to spot one. So he said they are all black. All black, he said, didn't Oh, Dad yeah. didn't hear him say yeah, that. I think he said they're all Good black. Good job she was so. listening. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully keep your eyes peeled and see if we spot one. I'm guessing they'll be on the mum's backs. Yeah, so, or the mum's like at the front. Kind oh, of maybe, like, yeah. So, yeah. front, backs, I'm guessing not on the red. So, <laughs> keep an eye out. All these Barbary macaques are normally found in Morocco, Algeria, and North Africa in the rocky mountains, or rocky ridges in wooded mountains. And it's a good job that the east says there they can survive hot and the winters are cold where they come from with heavy snowfall because. The poor things are in England where we live and it is cold. Oh so yeah, it gets cold. Luckily for them they can adapt to that. Yeah. one of the babies it was actually on its mum's belly suckling but when cr quite a crowd gathered around it so it kind of like ran off a little bit obviously protecting the baby but somebody that works here was just saying that so the babies that you see aren't necessarily on their mums they were just saying that the kind of family like all um, pitching in. yeah pitching to help out so they could be on like a grandmother or i think she's just said one of them was on like a grandfather so how cute is that proper little family <laughs> So 
so it's not one of the feeding times yet but they have been fed for the breakfast i'm guessing so we're like he was just munching on some sweet potato this one's got an apple at the back so yeah they do uh, they've got a lot of veg i think on the one of the signs it said they were omnivores but they will eat bugs you know spiders and little insects and stuff So, so far there's been just as many squirrels as there has been <laughs> Barbary macaques. They're everywhere. Oh, this one's coming down with the baby. Looks like it's hobbling, but it's holding the baby. Oh, Luke. How old was that one, Stace? Oh, four weeks old. Four yeah. weeks old. So oh. We were just a bit closer, but um, the males around it were, were fighting a I little bit. I think they said a high-ranking male came over. Yeah, so all the other males got a Oh, bit he's there, Luke. He's come off. <laughs> Oh, he's tiny. Oh, oh. So she was saying that he wants to keep wandering off, but um, the dad keeps picking him off. Yeah, funnily enough, go. you wouldn't think it'd be the dad, would you? you think it'd be the mum who'd keep it close. Yeah, the mum's like, I'm eating my apple yeah. and a sweet potato. And... <laughs> so we're just heading back down to the first feeding area. I think there's two or three different feeding areas yeah. where they do different times for each one. So, uh, yeah, we've got 10 minutes to get back down there, see some monkeys being fed. And I'd like to introduce you to the Barber macaques who call the 60 acre forest home. Barber macaques are a unique and fascinating species. Barber macaques once lived all over Europe, even even England up until around 300,000 years ago. Their population has decreased by more than 50% in the last 30 years. And if this continues, then soon there will be no Barber macaques left in the wild at all. To ensure their survival, Barber macaques need our help to protect their habitat and stop the illegal trade of babies. We have some of their favourites today. So we've got some kale, some banana, pineapple, melon, grapes in there as well, potato, and some sunflower seeds and wheat grains that you'll see me scattering around in a second. wondering what happens to our monkeys during winter. Our monkeys don't need any indoor enclosures but live freely outside at Trenton all year round. So far this year we've had nine babies born, six boys and three girls. So one of the info people around the park has just said that the oldest monkey they've got in here at the moment is 31 which is equivalent to about 100 years in human age. So it's quite old really to be climbing up trees and chasing all the other little monkeys about. So all the monkeys do have a lot more room than you think. They've got a lot of trees, a lot of fallen trees like that. They've got a little brook down there for... I know monkeys don't really like water, but for splashing. There's loads of room for them, trees and everything. You do get... You see a couple in the trees, don't you, but... Yeah. There's not too many. There's a lot of bugs for them and stuff. So as we said earlier, uh, there is an Aldi swan and this is her, as one of the info people just pointed out, so she's 31. And so I don't know how long she's been here. They didn't say, did they? But I'm guessing uh, must have spent most of her life here because I know it's been open a good few years now.
but this is what I have to do for Stacy on a nightly thing. Give her a back scratch and sort through her red for ticks and fleas. She loves a head scratch. Every night, can I have an head scratch? This is me. This is my life. Right, so we've just watched them do a second feed. Which is in a different area. Yeah. It's further up. There's two areas for feeding different times of the day. So just in case you do come, you don't come and queue at this the same one as earlier like. We just had a fright because as we were walking off we heard like this <laughs> high pitched scream. scream behind us. We a group of monkeys had just like ran off and we were having a bit of a like argument yeah, and we're making trees. noises. We thought like one had attacked somebody or something so, like this high pitched scream yeah, behind oh. us. But we just turned around and there was this like this little kid that was panicked because one had walked in front of us. So we were like, phew, we expected to turn around and one's on like top of each other. <laughs> Ooh, like, sorry, it's just going off in one of the trees. <laughs> oh, we've just watched one. Um, it was like in the shade, so we couldn't really pick it up on camera. But um, it was like a mum, and she was like running along in the tree, and there was oh, like a little yeah, baby she... like clinging on for and dear the life. The baby yeah. sounded like it was screaming because she was jumping from branch to branch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably going slow down, mum. <laughs> Finish his walk now around the monkey forest. Wow, is it hot? Yeah, he is. We're not used to this weather at all, and it is. Yeah, it's really hot. He's, think, he's nice. We're not complaining. Well, kind of, but you know, we, it's we like love it. It's like 30 degrees. Yeah. It's not the same hot as when you're on holiday, though. No. But all that aside, it's a great place to come, Trenton, Trenton Monkey Forest. Uh huh. For a tongue mm -hmm. teaser. Uh, it was nine pound each, wasn't it? Yeah, nine pound each. So not too again. expensive. So yeah, not too bad. I mean, it's just. Um, obviously, it's the only one I know of in England where you actually get to walk round with like the free monkeys, roaming, the free roaming yeah. monkeys. Obviously, you can go to zoos and see them behind cages, but to actually have them roaming around is, you know, is an experience. Yeah, so. obviously, you can't touch them. No. Don't feed them. But still, you, they can walk past you. They're they free to do what close. they want. Yeah, yeah, you know, when you, you see them walking across the paths in front of you and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it's really, uh, it's a really nice day out. Good spend a few hours here and then yeah. we're off to the Trenton estate to walk around the gardens yeah. which will be the next video so look after that <laughs> uh, so yeah it's just a couple of miles up the road it's the same family company parent company whatever you want to call it but no but we're really lucky yeah. that we got to see some babies and, oh yeah the nine uh, yeah, babies so the nine babies i think they said the youngest was 10 weeks old 10, uh, ten days. days sorry 10, ten days tiny, old tiny, yeah tiny. Yeah, so they said they've had nine since the beginning of this year, so we were lucky we got to see them. They are kind of hidden back a little bit. Um, you know, they don't want to get too close to us humans yet, yeah. which I don't blame them, no, poor things. because we no. stink. <laughs> we're doing this weather anyway. <laughs> right, so no. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget, to, as always, like yep. and subscribe to our channel. Let's go get a drink. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, bye. Bye.